Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Math and Math number 67. Math and Math number 67. So this is just uh, one problem that we're doing this morning because you have to head to school a little early. Um, it's problem number 24 from the 2009 AMC 10A. It says three vertices of a cube are chosen at random. What is the probability that the plane determined by these vertices goes inside the cube? So... Okay, first of all, do you understand the question? Yeah. Yeah, this, this is actually a really neat question. Here we have a cube. Okay, we brought it over a cube. I'm not for sure if that's all the way in, but... I can zoom out. I'm not sure, not sure how much you'll be able to see, but take a look. But, okay. so, it has to be inside the cube, so, like, if you choose these three vertices, yep. that plane would go inside the cube. Very good. So it would go like that. Yeah. But if you choose these three vertices, the plane is going to go on the cube. Right. And, and not inside. That's, that's, that's exactly right. Well, I'm, I think we could use complementary counting to figure out the probability of it not being inside. Okay. So this is going to be, so we, they're chosen at random. Yeah. And you have eight vertices. Okay. So this is going to be out of eight times seven times six. Actually, no, it'll be out of eight times seven. Why? Because the overcounting. Because if you choose. Why don't you? Why don't you write a little bit down on that on this point? Okay. So you're going to have something out of fifty-six. Okay. But what I wanted you to write down is how you got to 56. So, you choose three vertices at one. You choose three vertices. You have eight choices times seven choices times six choices. And then you have to divide this by three. I mean, six. Why six? Because if you have three things that are all independent of each other, uh -huh. you can move them around in a lot of different ways. And actually it's just six ways. Okay. And how do you how do you get six? Well where does it come from? Because you've when well, you have three objects and where they're going to go, you have three choices for from where to put the first object, two choices for the second, and then that one's fourth. Okay. Six. Very good. So we have eight times seven times six over three times two times one. Which is fifty-six. Six. So that's very nice. So we know we're looking for a fraction whose denominator is 56, because the 56 is the total number of ways you can choose three vertices of the cube. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the second part. Okay. 